Hi all, Martin again, uh, and I'm tying the pink thing today. It's an Australian fly, it might not be that... I mean, it might not be that well known to some of you, but it's probably, I would say, the most well known Australian fly. Um, it's originally designed for Barramundi, I believe. But it works for other species as well. I've used it here in Japan for uh, sea bass, Japanese sea bass, and uh, largemouth bass. And I've got a friend that's used it for the Japanese barramundi, which is a slightly different species. Um, it's a it's a good fly. I mean, it's it's got a swimmy tail. It's got the hot collar, pushes a bit of water, and it's got the eyes for a bit of jigging action. Well worth tying some up to give them a try. So I've got my hook in my vise. This is a size 2 or SL12. Um, obviously just tie them in a size that suits what you're fishing for. And I've just started some 210 UTC in white. And I've got to figure it on some dumbbell eyes. This is uh, the pseudo eyes or whatever. Realize Plus, I don't remember which brand these are, but they're much the same. And you can go from bead chain up to lead eyes, obviously just adjust the weight to suit. Just make sure your eyes are square. And then get them locked in. Got to take my thread into the back. And for the tail, I'm going to, on this size, I'm going to use six <coughs> um, saddle hackles. If I go bigger, like if I tied this on a four rod, I'd be using eight. And I don't really go any smaller. But again, depending where you are, you might. So. Just get three together and size them up. And I'm not too fussed if the tips are slightly different lengths. I don't think, I don't think you want to be very fussy here. Um, I, as far as I'm aware, this was supposed to copy like a kind of soft plastic and like with a kind of tapered tail. Um, I might be wrong on that, but that's what I've. I don't remember who I heard saying that, but uh, I don't think I don't think it needs to just come to like a block. It's if if your ta feathers are slightly uneven and you get that wee extra bit of taper, a wee bit more swimminess, more's the better. See the other way, and I'm tying these sort of curving in. Um, I suppose if you want it to, you could splay them. Trim away the waist. Get that tidied up. I'm going to put in some flash. I'm using crinkle mirror flash because it's very flashy. You know, it's it's really it's really highly reflective, and because it's got the crinkle in it, it reflects light at all different angles. To need a ton, four or five strands. Thread back. I just moisten it to control it. Take a couple of wraps to get it locked in, fold it over, and then just tie it down either side. And the ends are already kind of tapered. Now, to support that tail, stop it snarling up. I've got a bit of bucktail. And you want... This is a good time to use some of the shorter bucktail off your... If you've got some. Um, I, went, I actually went through the tails that I've got, looking for some with the tips um, left and the shorter hairs. I'm loath to use, so I've got a nice bucktail that's five and six inches long. I'm loath to use it for these wee short collars. So, get a bunch, 
I don't know if I have it or not. Clean out any of the rubbish. What else for this in? So it's I don't know, half the length, maybe slightly less. A couple of loose wraps and then just walk it around and tighten up. And that should make sure that you end up with a nice complete coverage. And that will help support these feathers, stop them fouling. Get that tied in nice and tight. Tidy everything up. Now I like to put in a wee bit of head cement here. Just to make the fly a bit more durable. A bit more flash. This time I'm using some pink sparkle here, which is from Sibai. Um, but that's just up to you, you can use what you like. any that are a bit too long. I don't I just want that coming back to have it level with the bucktail. And it's sort of on top and to the sides. I'm going to tie in some grizzly hackles. These are just from a from a white and American neck. And I like to take them from opposite sides of the cape. So that they curve towards each other. And I'll tie them in. Again, just kind of come in towards the rear of the bucktail. Let that be a bit shorter. I've seen I've seen guys tying them. Uh quite long coming just right down like a lateral line all the way the length of the fly but this is what I've found I've messed about with it. and this is what I've found I like um, I'm not sure that the fish really care that much but it just adds a wee bit of sort of variation to the or variegation to the colour So that's the tail, right? I mean, the tail's sort of broadly the same, you know, it's this, the white hackle, the butter buck tail and the grizzly hackle on all of the pink things that I've seen, um, more or less. Sometimes it's just white hackle and buck tail, or white hackle and grizzly hackle, but when you come to the front, the collar, you start to have a bit of a choice what you got to do. Um, I'm going to use slapping, but you could use marabou, saddle hackle, zonker strip, some folk use uh, like a dubbing brush or even a chenille. Depending on how much water you want to push, you might put some like, some kind of a wee ball of chenille behind to help support the slapping. Um, but I'm just going to tie these in as they are. That one's nice and fluffy. And I'll, I'll need a couple. Oh, but before I do that, I'm going to come back around the eyes. I 
I've said this in other videos, but if you do this, like, because you've got all that grip and all that torque of the threads on the shank, like, those eyes never move, right? It's That extra few tons of thread is much more secure than using super glue or resin or anything, right? It's just so much stronger. So I've tied in this fluorescent pink slapping by the tip. I'm just going to wind it. I'm going to come right down into the bottom of the feather. Get that marabou fluff. Cross over. I'll tidy this up. I'm not tying over the feather, I'm just tidying up the space and the tie in here so that I got a better contact with my thread when I tie in the next one. But you can see already, look at the movement and that you're going to get just in that from that slapping with the fuzz. The webby hackly bits that supports that marabou very well. It just, I mean, it's just, they just breathe, you know, when you when you stop the retrieve. Um, and I found, I mean, certainly for the fish that I've used this for, like black bass and that, like, they, they seem to, like, when you stop it, and, I mean, those eyes, there's no that much weight in them for the size of the fly. It starts drifting and that, you often get a, you often get an eat on the paws. Um, and I'm sure these, this collar has a big part to play in that. So I've just got my second feather in. And just much the same. Just got to get it in there. I want it to be dense. It's just sort of twisting on with this one. I'm just got to go back. Because the feather's twisting and the hackle fibres are shooting to the forward, to the front, I'm just going to go back and it will sit much better at the same time, usually. And then, when you get to the front, I can get, squeeze that in. Close. I'll just, I can just lock this in. Just tidy and everything up. Make sure that underside's nice and secure. I don't want any. Exposed bits of feather stem. I don't mind if the colour sort of shows through the white thread, but I want I want it. I want the feather stem well covered. And then I'm going to use some forty pound fluorocarbon for my weed guard. Up to you if you want to put a weed guard on. But I'm just going to use the usual that I like, the two sprigs. So I've made, folded the folded the fluorocarbon in a loop, four wraps over it one way. Just moisten this to get it to behave. Four wraps the other way. Pull that in, and then I'm going to just run a figure eight through. to separate these and when 
you're happy, you can whip finish. And another. Nice and tight. Trim these just a wee bit beyond, a wee bit below the hook point. I'll do that, I'll turn the fly if it hits a stick. That's, then we're just going to get this well secured with the hard as nails. Right, and that's the fly done. Don't don't need to worry about any other glue in or anything, that's it. That will hold. So there you go, there's the pink thing. As I say, originally a bar of Monday pattern from Australia, but it'll, I mean it'll catch fish all over. So I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to hit the like button and I'll see you for another video. Tell us guys, bye.